It's got a lot of snow. Can't get the cars out. If you'd like to know the meaning of fun. Yeah, no fun at all. And I got work at four. James Rowe. This is bad. <laughs> might not be the guy to talk to. I mean, compared to everywhere else, we haven't got much snow but today. But today, we did. If it's a winter wonderland, then you can forgive James for wondering why. This is real bad. I don't even know how I'm gonna get this car out. It was like that all over Rochester. Cars buried. It's terrible. Spirits. I hate it. Crumbled. I tried to gun it out and it just stops. I could try to I try to move it back and forth different ways and it just won't go back anymore. A few streets over. Never better. <sighs> Lindsay Murphy found herself buried. 20 minutes of digging. And brushing got her fogged up. Yes, a little bit. <laughs> and like many of us, fired up. It's wet, it's heavy, and uh it sucks. <laughs> the cold, the snow, the wind, it all prompted the National Weather Service to issue a winter storm warning. For the past three years, February has been Rochester's snowiest month. Whether you think it's for the dogs or maybe the birds, just think. Think of those who need a hand. This is illegal, right? Can't park on a sidewalk. Right? <laughs> think. Only seven weeks till spring. I mean, they did warn us, so we should have did better care, but I don't know. Seth Voorhees is bad. <laughs> Tell you that much. Time Warner Cable News. This isn't a place people come to. You have the dumb telling you when you can go to sleep, when to eat. By choice. You have the dumb telling you when you can move, when you can walk. They certainly don't come to Albion Correctional Facility to learn. It's very difficult, but what you gotta do is make the best out of it. No, most are here. DWI. Because they didn't learn. You know, I think everybody is you know, one bad choice away from being in this position. Their crimes range from drug sales to burglary. You just took Ileana out. Lizette Bermudez is going on 11 months. I turned myself in May 2nd, 2014. Credit card fraud. So hopefully I'll be home in July or October. Time for their crime isn't the only bond. These women share. They're also tied by the fact Mommy. that they're mothers. It's difficult. It's, that's the hardest part of it. Stressful. Very stressful. You know, um, I get to talk to them on the phone, but it's not the same. And that is why this day uh -huh, she says. is so special. A chance to connect. Uh -huh, connect for precious time with children left on the outside. Ooh, mommy, she's close to that. While they're stuck on the inside. Oh, it means a lot. Even though I always consider myself a good parent, but it means a lot because I feel like I learned more. Get over here, give me a hug. The inmate mothers are in a program called Family Ties. Oh, I found Kate, I found Kate now. Which gives them the building blocks to become better parents and better people. Really, we feel like if you're motivated and want to focus on being the best mom you can and learn more about how this situation is affecting your kids and how you can best support their bright futures, then we want you in the class. Move from start. We don't have nobody to start, so you got to switch places with somebody. Inmates from the largest women's prison in New York State go through 12 weeks of classes. I've missed you so much. I missed you so much. A few more months, guys. Mama's home. They learn to fill a hole, which they dug for themselves <laughs> and their families. Having a parent who's incarcerated is not something that um, you necessarily want to share, and it comes with a lot of stigma and negative judgment towards you. I realigned my priorities. Um, I've learned. It can't be selfish anymore. It's not just about me. You know, I have a family that needs me. Um, it's time to grow up. Part of that growing up. Five, 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 six. Five, 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 six. Is recognizing their accomplishments. Graduation day brings nerves. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Today, the entire department joins in applauding you as you receive your diplomas. It also highlights steps these inmates have taken to hopefully change their ways. You owe. Every single one of you owe them. Every single one of them. Where I've learned from the program is how to communicate with your kids, how to listen to them, talk to them, how to deal with them during their growing up. This is a water tune, Lisette Bermudez. Prison officials know this is not the end. 
30% of women in New York correctional facilities wind up back here once their time is up. I've been in Albion 10 and a half months and I go home in October. Thank you. Carrie Shopke has no plans of coming back. It's your turn. Whether she succeeds, oh. whether any of them succeed, depends on whether they've truly learned. It's very emotional. They're all excited and then there's also a lot of anxiety too because at the end of this visit is going to be a goodbye and a separation. Only time will tell. I know when I go home I'm going to be a better parent. Seth Voorhees. Feel good. It's been a great day. Time Warner Cable News. I love it. This is beautiful. That view from the Pittsford roadside speaks for itself. We just headed out this morning in search of it, and you can't miss it. Visit the sunflowers off Clover Street. It almost feels like you have your own audience. That's amazing. The faces in the field also attract a crowd. It's amazing, so many sunflowers. Acres and acres. We were over at the Cobbs Hill Park and someone was telling us about this, so we came over to check it out. Jenna Johnson isn't the only one who's captivated by it all. Well, I have known it to be here for a few years. There's often a field uh, of sunflowers on this intersection and uh, it's beautiful. You ready? Look at me. One, two, three, good. The sunflower field has become a favorite for photographers. That one is really pretty. Professional and amateur. I've seen probably about 15 or 16 posts on Facebook with their kids all in the field. It's an opportunity to get a lot of different perspectives and uh, certainly an opportunity to play with focus. I think it's pretty nice. I mean, all the sunflowers, you can't take a bad picture here and it's the best part of it. <laughs> the beauty in the field won't be here forever. I just got a picture of a bee like on the sunflower. Soon it will fade as summer fades into fall. Until then, it's peaceful. Pittsburgh sunflowers will stand tall, face to the sun with an audience all their own. It's just amazing. It's beautiful. Seth Voorhees. It's absolutely amazing. Time Warner Cable News.